glaucoma has two types, one called open angle glaucoma, the other kind called angle closure. For open angle glaucoma, the eye pressure is either normal or just elevated a little bit, but the drainage canal is clogged in the eyes. So the fluids which nourish the eyeball cannot circulate in normal way. When they are blocked in a canal, the fluid can cause optic nerve damage and this will cause loss of retinal ganglion cells. For the open angle glaucoma, usually there are not so much symptoms, but the other type angle closure glaucoma, um, it has headaches, eye pain, nausea, rainbows, blurry vision. That's because the eye pressure increase quickly. So in this kind of glaucoma, the eye uh, sight can be damaged quickly and the optic nerves can be damaged much faster than the other type. And for Western medicine, um, to lower the eye pressure is the first step. So that will relieve the pressure on the optic nerves. We use eye drops to quickly lower the eye pressure. But too much eye drop sometimes cause burning sensation, blurry vision, and also very dry. And the people cannot tolerate that. So the next step, the ophthalmologist will recommend you to use laser. So laser surgery can help lower eye pressure. But then usually after one or two years, the eye pressure gradually goes up again because of the scar tissue. And in this kind of condition, acupuncture can help to enhance the pressure lowering effect of eye drops, especially it can reduce the scar tissue. So I have patients after two laser surgeries, the eye drop does not work anymore. Their pressure go up to 30 and normal would be between 12 to 15. And that's really worries the patients and ophthalmologist because there's two laser surgery already, there are too much scar tissue builds up. So they come for acupuncture treatment and after four to eight treatments, the eye pressure dropped to normal. And not only that, they see things much more clearer. So there are a couple of studies done um, about acupuncture and eye pressure. And one of the studies published in Alternative Complementary Medicine in 2010, um, they use acupuncture to see how acupuncture can change the eye pressure and the visual equity. So they recruit patients with high eye pressure and they choose ear point, kidney, liver, eye, and the pressure points will be pressed twice uh, for four weeks. Then they tested the eye pressure and visual acuity after three to four weeks. It turns out the eye pressure and visual acuity uh, significantly improved the comparing the control group. So the mechanism here for acupuncture to lower the eye pressure and improve the peripheral vision is that improving blood flow so that we can slow down the nerve degeneration. 
and possibly it can regulate nerve growth factor which facilitates nerve survival pathway instead of uh, optical nerve damage. So by speeding up the nerve regeneration, the eye optic nerves can, uh, damage can be slowed down. But three to four weeks after the treatment, if we stop the acupressure for another three weeks, then uh, the eye pressure will go up again. So here the protocol indicates that after initial eight to 10 treatment twice a week, we need to do the maintenance every two to three weeks. That way you can use the lowest dosage of eye drops, avoid a laser surgery, and even after the laser surgery, you can still um, help reduce the scar tissue to maintain your eye pressure.